Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do a tutorial and a demo of some of the products that I featured in my recent Faves and Fails video. So in that video, I had shown you a Milani eyeshadow palette, a Milani blush, and I also showed you the MAC Roller Wheel Eyeliner. And these were all faves that day and I had used them all and so you guys wanted a little demo slash tutorial on it, so I thought I would make it for you today. This is the Milani Everyday Eyes Eyeshadow Collection in 01 Must Have Naturals. And the colors in this are really just perfect for like an everyday look. It's got three mattes, it's got three shimmers, and they're all very, very wearable. So I'm gonna show you how I did this eyeshadow look with it today. And then the blush that I have on is the Milani Powder Blush in T-Rose. I had worn this in that video, so I'll show you how I apply the blush today and what a pretty um, nice matte sheer cheek look it gives you, so great blush there. And then I also wanted to demo for you the MAC Roller Wheel Eyeliner. This is a really cool eyeliner. It's like a little pizza cutter. You can see how tiny that thing is, but it gives just the most perfect tiny little line. And the formula is matte black. So I really love this. I've kind of mastered using it. it does have a little bit of a learning curve. The unfortunate part is that when I went to you know look for the price and link it last time, the matte formula had disappeared, seemingly off the planet. So I don't know what the problem is, but I... What's going on back there? <laughs> Okay, there you go. What was I talking about? Oh my God, I completely lost my train of thought. Yeah, I was saying that this, I cannot find the matte formula anywhere. And I was reading some reviews on a few different sites and a lot of people were saying that this was really irritating their eyes. And so I think they might've pulled the matte formula and hopefully they're gonna reformulate it because I really like this one. And um, I don't have any irritation from it, so I'm gonna continue to use it, but it's very, you know, like don't fall in love with it here because you really can't get it, unfortunately. You can get the shiny one, you can get the blue one, you can get like the purpley one, but you can't get this one currently. But what I noticed is that Revlon came out with a very similar product. And the Revlon one, though, doesn't have a matte formula either. The Revlon one has a shinier formula. But look at these guys. I mean, talk about identical. Who's thinking the cone heads on this? Remember Saturday Night Live, the cone heads, right? This is the Revlon Colorstay Exactify Liquid Liner. And if this isn't an exact dupe for this, I don't know what is. I don't know if the formula is the same, but the little roller wheel is pretty much exactly the same. This is the MAC and this is the Revlon. So you can see the Revlon has that shinier finish. So I've been using them both for a few days just to like compare and get the hang of it and you know get past the learning curve. And I find that once you do get past the learning curve, these are so easy. It makes it so easy to put on your eyeliner. It, when I do it in the demo in a couple minutes, it's not gonna look like it's so easy, but that's because I'm trying to hold a mirror with one hand and put it on while looking in the mirror and looking at the camera and making sure you guys can see. The one that I like better is the MAC, even though it's twice the price. This is $21, this is like $12. But if you were interested in trying it or just curious about it, the Revlon one is a reasonable dupe. Let's go into the tutorial. I'll show you how to create this really simple, um, it's basically a two color matte look and then just adding a couple of shimmers for pop. You don't have to add Add the shimmers. This would be a really easy two color day look for work. All right, I've got the first eye already done. To start every eyeshadow tutorial, I always prime my eyelids. And so for that, I use Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So I just take a little bit on the back of my hand, pick that up with my finger, and just pop it on my eyelid. So while that sets up, let's go ahead and do the blush. So I'm gonna be using the Milani Powder Blush in T-Rose. For my blush, I use a giant fan brush. This is the Morphe E33 brush. I just pick up a little bit of the blush on kind of one side of the brush. And then I start high up on my cheekbones to kind of elevate my cheekbones, help to lift them up a little bit. So we start back by the hairline. I just kind of pounce it on there, bring it forward. And then I turn my brush it's really sheer so you can see your skin through it. Okay, so now that eye is all set, let's go in with the Milani eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe No Tug All Over Shader Brush, and I'm gonna dip it into the second color in the palette and apply that to the movable part of my lid using an up and down motion. So I'm gonna put this higher up above the crease 
about two-thirds of the way up to my eyebrow. I'm going to leave a little bit of space there that I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on. I'm going to bring it in at an angle at the corner. Next, I'm going to take my MAC 221 brush, and I'm going to go into the taupey brown color here. You just need a tiny bit. This palette has such great color payout that you don't need to pick up a lot. Tap off your brush, and then I'm just going to do the little outer V here. I'm going to start in the crease at the outer edge and just draw it at an angle down towards my eyelid. And then going back into that spot at the crease, I'm just going to drag it across in the crease a little bit. Grab a tiny bit more just to fill that in. Now I'm going to switch to my Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush to blend that out. And if it's like an everyday and you're just going to work, you could be done there. Add a little bit of eyeliner, some mascara, and your eye look is done. For the video though, of course I had on a couple of shimmer colors, and so I started off with the one in the center of the palette here, this nice shimmery taupe color. And I picked that up just with my finger. I'm just gonna pop that right on the center of my eye. And then I'm gonna go into the pink. I'm just gonna put that at the inner corner dragging it out into the taupe a little bit. I'm going to use this tiny Sigma Waterline Liner Brush. It's an E17. I'm going to dip that into kind of bone brightest color. And I'm going to use that as an eyebrow highlight. So I'm going to start mid-brow right at the highest part of my arch and drag that out towards the end of my brow. And then pull it in a little bit. And that's the eyeshadow. Really simple and easy, great little palette to work with, great shades for every day. Absolutely love it. Okay, so then for the um, tight lining, I used, as always, my <laughs> what's left of my Sephora Contour 12-hour waterproof eyeliner pencil in Fifth Avenue. This is a dark matte gray. I just put that up into my upper waterline and run that back and forth. So I've already applied the MAC Roller Wheel to this eye, and we're going to do a little wear test on this today to see how this one does. And then I'm going to put the Revlon one on this one and give you guys the demo to show you how to work it. So it's a very liquidy formula. You have to shake it up. And I hope I can do this in the viewfinder and that we can all see what I'm doing here. And just roll it to the outer corner of my eye. And see what a beautiful thin line that makes? So just finishing out the eye look, I used the Sephora Contour Crayon 12-hour uh, waterproof in Starry Sky uh, for the lower waterline. And just run that right under there a little bit. And then added a coat of my current fave mascara, which is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout Mascara. Okay, and there it is. That's the eye look that I was wearing in the last three videos. <laughs> Oh hey, it's time for a 10 hour check in on the eyeliners. I've got the Revlon on this side and the MAC roller wheel on this side and they've been on there for 10 hours. I think they've worn really, really well. They're both about comparable as far as wear goes. No major chipping, smudging or flaking. I think they both look good. I still like the look of the MAC a little bit better than the Revlon, but you know, for the $10 price difference, say the Revlon is pretty good. And the eyeshadow wore well too. So all in all, a pretty good makeup day. Just can't wait to color my roots tomorrow. Oh my gosh, can't believe I made a video with gray roots this big, but e salon to the rescue. <laughs> It came in the mail. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If this was the tutorial that you were looking for, um, I hope that you can recreate it at home. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And so I will see you next time. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.